quite border villages in Bangladesh have been jolted by motor shells and gunfire in recent weeks. Mohammed Ibrahim describes how an exploding shell killed an elderly Rohingya man and his mother. I could barely see because of the thick smoke. The old man died instantly and my mom's hands were shaking. She couldn't move or talk. We tried to rush her to the hospital, but she was gone within minutes. Hundreds of Myanmar border police and military personnel have crossed the border to Sikh sanctuary. And Bangladesh border guards have sealed their side while temporarily evacuating villagers and shutting down school in border areas. More than 300 Myanmar security force personnel are now in the custody of Bangladesh border guards as talks are underway for their return. We have issued a strong rebuke to Myanmar on the entry of their people. Shells and gunfire are falling inside our territory and killing and injuring people. This is particularly concerning as we are actively working to repatriate the Rohingya. Such incidents are uncalled for and unacceptable. Since last November, hundreds of Myanmar soldiers and civilians have fled to Indian states of Mizoram and Manipur due to intense fighting with rebel groups. Bangladesh and India share border with Myanmar and both countries are now having to deal with the spillover of its conflict. The evolving security situation underscored the potential for broader regional instability. Groups involved in ethnic violence in Indian Manipur state have blamed open borders as the source of unrest there. The Indian government is planning to fence what it described as the troubled border with Myanmar and scrap a free movement agreement despite fears by some that it will disrupt long-standing cultural and economic ties. I worry for the children. The students won't be able to go to school and their education will stop. There is no proper schooling on the other side of the border. If the border fence is erected, it will block our path to our brothers and sisters in Myanmar. If freedom of movement is scrapped, it will hurt the unity of the Miso community. Some analysts think Rakhine State in Myanmar has become a de facto battleground for rival interests in a new Indo-Pacific strategic battle. But it's Bangladesh which is already hosting more than a million Rohingya refugees and now has to deal with the spillover of a conflict that is not of their own. Tanvi Chaudhary, Al Jazeera, from Bangladesh, Myanmar border. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.